What's going on guys? I'm Jake the Lawn Kid. Welcome back to another weekend in the lawn. So for those of you guys who live in the US, you guys know that this is a really big weekend for lawn care pretty much everywhere. And the reason that is, is because it's a weekend where we dominate harder than we ever have before, making sure that our lawns are not only green and thick, but they're as deep and as dark as they can possibly be. And the second reason this is a really big weekend is because it's a day where we celebrate those who have sacrificed their lives in defense for the freedoms that we enjoy to this day so for any of you guys who have served in the military and sacrificed your lives for all of us I just want to go ahead and say from the bottom of my heart thank you very much so back to that first point I made this weekend is a weekend where we try to dominate harder than we ever have before and the way we do it is by making sure that the lawn is as dark blue green as possible to set us apart and the way we're actually going to be achieving that is we're going to apply liquid iron to the lawn but let me go ahead and explain the game plan to you guys so this video here this is basically going to set the stage for tomorrow's video which is going to be step three of the LCN lawn revival 2019 and what I'm going to be doing over here is actually going to record an application of iron so this video here I want you guys to understand how to calculate the amount of iron you put on the lawn the reason this is important is because as you're gonna hear me say in tomorrow's video as well as a couple coming up after that is that iron is a micronutrient and because of that it's required that you apply it in smaller quantities and overall this is also a great reason to answer a question that a lot of you guys have been asking me and that is how to calculate pounds per thousand with liquid products because a lot of you guys who've been following me for a while know that we calculate pounds per thousand with granular products like the starter fertilizer and the malorganite but what I want to do today is I actually want to take you guys through some exercises while we're calculating the iron to show you how to calculate pounds per thousand with liquid products with all that being said let's get into the video bruh Okay, so let's get into the math. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm not only going to show you guys how to calculate the pounds of iron for the product I'm using, but we're also going to go over another product from the next line as well as a couple alternatives for those of you guys who want to try something different. Because the idea here is I want to go ahead and exercise the mind a little bit. I think it's better to do this with multiple products with different numbers rather than do it with one product and use the same numbers as it'll kind of help you guys familiarize with this a little bit quicker because that's the idea, right? Is that when we do this math, we want to make sure that we can get it as much as we can because I'll admit it, it's a lot when you first do it, but the more you practice it, the better you get, right? It's like swinging a golf club or riding a bike. The more you do it, the better you get. Same with this math. So we're going to go through this with a couple different products here. We're going to do about three or four just to kind of get the math flowing and working through the brain. So real quick one more thing I want to add in is that if you want to calculate the amount of nitrogen the amount of phosphorus the amount of potassium or really the amount of any uh, macro or micronutrient in your fertilizer this process will work the same for all of those as well so with all that being said let's get into it so the first product we're going to be talking about is going to be from the next line this is actually the product we're going to be spraying uh, in the next video so stay tuned for that. So the first thing I like about this product out of the box is that it's very abundant as far as iron goes. You can see it contains about 6% and another thing I like about it is that it actually contains a little bit of nitrogen. The reason that's nice is because when we run through and do the math here you'll see that it's not that large of a dose. In fact if you wanted to use this as a supplement for lower nitrogen inputs in the summer you can do that as well. So that's another nice thing I like about this product is that it's a really good all around product for the lawn and landscape. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the math here. So what I'm gonna be teaching you guys today is how to calculate uh, pounds per thousand for liquid products. The first thing we wanna do is we wanna convert volume to weight. And the way we're going to do that is we need to figure out how many gallons we're dealing with first. So let me just go ahead and add another quick caveat here. Everything we're going to be talking about in this video, as far as the next products go, is going to be based on one gallon increments because that's what I have available to me. And one gallon is really the easiest thing to learn, especially when you're starting. So one gallon for everything regarding next products. So if you get confused, remember everything we're doing is based on one gallon exactly. So the first thing we need to do is we need to figure out our variables, which are going to be our numbers. So 
First, we gotta figure out our weight, which for this product is going to be 10.5 pounds. Now, one more thing I wanna add in right here is that the weight might vary depending on the product you're doing. So to elaborate on that, just because the green effect weighs 10.5 pounds in a one gallon batch, doesn't mean that another product from the next line will weigh 10.5 pounds because there's so much that goes into it. As far as the weight, make sure that you double check your math, make sure that you read the labels and check the weight as it will be different depending on the product you're using and you'll see this as we go through here but anyway I just wanted to preface that so the weight for this one I even have it here on the PDF I don't know if you're gonna see it one gallon is equivalent to 10.5 uh, so 10 and a half pounds now we need to find our volume our volume is going to be calculated in ounces because that's how our application is going to be calculated so in our case we're going to be using 128 because 128 ounces is equivalent to one gallon so then what we gotta do is we gotta take the weight of the jug and divide it by the total volume. So 10.5 pounds, divide that by 128 ounces. 0 0.08 pounds per one ounce. Basically each ounce of product weighs 0 0.08 pounds, so 0 0.08 pounds per ounce. So now that we know our pounds per ounce, now we need to calculate our pounds per thousand. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to multiply this number right here by our application rate. In this case, we're going to be applying at 12 ounces per thousand. Keep in mind that if you do decide to put it down higher or lower, that's going to dictate the rest of the math going forward. But in my case, I'm going all the way to the top at 12 ounces per thousand. So what we're gonna do is we're going to multiply 0 0.08 pounds per ounce times 12 ounces per thousand, and that's gonna give us our pounds per thousand, in this case, 0.96. And then the last thing we wanna do is we wanna calculate how many pounds of iron we're getting per thousand square feet. And the way we do that is we take our pounds per thousand, which again is 0.96 pounds per thousand, and multiply that by our percentage of iron in the mix. So as you'll see right here, 6% iron, and as far as the math goes, uh, when you when you multiply these two together, you want to make sure that for that six percent You move the decimal two places to the left as it's required for this type of math So when you do 0.96 pounds per thousand multiply that by six percent iron We come out with about 0 0.058 pounds of iron per thousand square feet So once again, I know that doesn't seem like a lot but because iron is a micronutrient It's only needed in small quantities to make that big of a difference. So remember that and then like I said earlier if you want to use this method to calculate say nitrogen which this product is pretty abundant in too you can see it contains 7% nitrogen same, same thing all you got to do is take the pounds per thousand and multiply it by 0 0.07 because 7% nitrogen and we come out with about 0.67 pounds of nitrogen per thousand square feet Okay, so the next product we're going to be doing is actually going to be our good old friend microgreen. So you guys know I like this product a lot as it's very abundant in a lot of things, specifically micronutrients, but for the purpose of today's video, we're going to be focusing solely on the iron. This product contains 3% iron. Again, the first thing we have to do is identify our variables. This one gallon jug of microgreen weighs 9.7 pounds. And like I said, the weight can vary depending on the product, so keep that in mind. And again, we have to take our weight and divide it by our volume, so 9.7 pounds divided by 128 ounces, that's another 0 0.08 pounds per one ounce. Now, and then as far as application rates for this product, if you wanted to run it alone, you can apply it at 12 ounces per thousand. It's not gonna hurt a thing, it's only going to help. So, um, 0 0.08 pounds per ounce, 12 ounces per thousand is our application rate. Multiply the two together, we come out with 0.96 pounds per thousand square feet. And then the last thing we gotta do once again is we gotta go ahead and calculate the pounds of iron per thousand square feet. So it's pretty simple to do that. 0.96 pounds per thousand, multiply that by 3% iron, multiply that by 3%, move that decimal two places to the left, so 0 0.03, and you come out with 0 0.028 pounds of Fe. And then if we wanna have a little more fun, this product has 2% potassium, so again, same thing. 0.96 pounds per thousand, multiply that by 0 0.02, uh, because 2% potassium and we come out with 0 0.019 pounds of potassium. Now, if you guys are looking for 
uh, macronutrient supplement in the summer, then this would be a great product to use once a month at that 12 ounce per thousand rate. This third product we're going to be talking about is actually going to be an alternative to the next line from a company called Southern AG. And I actually got this product directly off of DoMyOwn.com. I wanna go ahead and offer you guys some alternative. And this product is perfect for that. Um, in fact, one reason I like this product is because I actually have it pulled up right here. Um, is that this is more of a single use product and really meant for a single use application, right? You know, you take this 16 ounce bottle, you mix it in your hand can sprayer with some water and then you just blanket spray your thousand square foot plot of lawn and then you're done. So if you're a beginner and you're looking to get into liquid iron and you're looking for something for your small thousand square foot area of grass that's going to last one time, then this product is perfect for you. So anyway, let's get into the math. This product contains 5% iron. Again, the first thing we've got to do is convert volume to weight so we got to identify our two variables our weight and our volume so our weight is one pound and our volume is 16 ounces so what we got to do is we got to take our take our poundage divided by uh, the volume so one pound divided by 16 ounces that come that gives us about 0 0.0625 pounds per one ounce product take that and multiply it by our application rate so 0 0.0625 pounds per ounce multiplied by our application rate 16 ounces per thousand that gives us about one pound spread evenly across a thousand square feet of lawn area now I'm sure a lot of you guys might be asking right now well hey Jake if this product is one pound and we know right away it covers a thousand square feet then is this math really necessary? Well, to be honest with you guys, it's really not. But it's a good idea, especially if you're a beginner with this math, it's a good idea to do it and flex your math skills so that when you get a, when you get a hold of something that's a little more complicated, you'll be ready for it. So moving on to the last step, uh, what we gotta do is take our pounds per thousand, so one pound per thousand of this product, multiply that by the percent of iron in the product. This one contains 5%. So 0 0.05, and that gives us about 0 0.05 pounds of iron per thousand square feet. Again, small number, but it makes a big difference.